Hello, welcome to Applied Math Research by Dr. Oz. In this video, I'm going to briefly explain my current research funded by NSF and RCAP and FUSE of uh, WKU, and it's going to be all about uh, modeling and control of unwanted vibrations. I currently have a small research team for fall 2020. I have Emma Moore. She was a former uh, Gatton student. I have DJ Price. Uh, he was also a former Gatton student and they gave plenty of talks in various parts of uh, the state and also in the U.S. And I have uh, Caitlin Hardy, and she's a current uh, Gatton student. And I have Wilson Horner, uh, he's a master's student, and I have another master's student, Ahmed Aydin, and, and you could be the new member of the research team. Real-world applications vary from smart devices to layer structures. Uh, a smart device is a multifunctional material system that involves a piezoelectric layer in it. That's a smart material. And layered structures could be like sideway palings and artificial trees, railroads. And the, the ultimate goal here is obviously to suppress the vibrations, but in the meantime, uh, the inverse problem is to harvest the energy to create sustainable energy resources. The major goal in the funded research is to model uh, vibrational dynamics that can be controlled by actuators and sensors. And in fact, the models can be very complex. Uh, they could be like uh, ordinary uh, differential equations or partial differential equations or uh, sort of like a cascade system where you have OD and PD coupling. And in fact, even the simplest case can take computer programs a relatively long time to solve. And, and our, our goal, especially with you, is to make the simulations way faster than what they are currently. So what are we looking at? Well, we consider uh, differential equations, as I said. And, and what is a differential equation? It's, it's simply an equation that describes the change in a scenario. For example, given a velocity of a ball in one direction and a starting point, you can predict a trajectory of, of the ball. Uh, but in particular, uh, we consider partial differential equations because we have time and space dependent problems because vibrations travel in time. We simply use a numerical uh, approach to uh, find the solutions of partial differential equations. That's, that's the ultimate goal here. In fact, we mostly perform a spectral analysis. The research that I plan to make with you is more like inspecting results and trying to make the simulations fast. Let's consider a specific scenario. Like we have a string that's clamped at one end and uh, free on the other end. And the string has some initial configuration, displacement and velocity provided. We can model this with partial uh, differential equations. Here is the partial uh, differential equation model with uh, boundary conditions and initial conditions here. So W stands for the displacements on, on the string. So we have a boundary controller and we have some control parameters here. And what we're doing here is to control any vibration, in fact, on the string by using uh, K1 and K3. While we don't look for the exact solutions, but the approximated solutions that we uh, simply use in this model, uh, finite uh, difference technique, we have now uh, just an ordinary differential equation system with more unknowns, obviously. And, and what we're going to look here is a numerical solution, and we're going to use some simulations in Mathematica. All right, here is the Wolframs demonstration uh, project that uh, several students worked on last uh, semester. So we have the waves traveling, as you see that uh, TF tells us the evolution of those waves in time. And we have filtered and non-filtered numerical approximation. And in the non-filtered case, uh, there is no uh, suppression of uh, vibrations. We have two controllers, as I said, a viscous damping gain, which is a distributed damping, and a boundary damping. Right now you see uh, the filtered version of the numerical approximation. As the time evolves, you see how fast the waves are suppressed by the controllers K1 and K3, even if you start with high frequency vibrational modes. Let me show you a, a more non-trivial example. Let's say like we have a three layer structure, like an airplane wing uh, composed of uh, several elastic layers. The top and the bottom layers can move separately and the middle layer is viscoelastic. And we have the control uh, we have the control of the top and bottom layers uh, for the overall vibrations on this structure. And this code was written by a former student and we couldn't uh, finish uh, the, the whole demonstration for that. Uh, in fact, uh, if you are interested, uh, you could be blended in, in this project. 
And we would like to develop uh, different versions of this code based on different boundary conditions, different initial configurations, and different controller designs. But as is, uh, this is sort of like a good draft code to work on, and, and, and this needs to be improved. And if you visit the Wolfram demonstration project, and, and you can see our code uh, uploaded there with my former students, and it's now open to public, and you can also check uh, for your own reference. We are also interested in other uh, multi-physics phenomena. If you have your own project, you can also propose that, but we have plenty of projects available for you. I am in the math department, and please uh, visit my personal uh, web page here. So let me just click that and click, uh, in fact, on uh, for students, and you will see all the other projects available here. If you're interested in a 200 level uh, project, all I need is uh, mathematical knowledge and if you have done a project in Mathematica and, and you could be like a good fit so having a, at least a B in calculus is good enough uh, to start with and if you want to have like uh, 300 or 400 type projects uh, having linear algebra or differential equations could be like a good plus let me know if you're interested in any of those projects all right bye